This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. I hope you're doing well. Had a good weekend? Not getting lazy in the lockdown? No. Today, I want to explore a topic that I think many men should understand, especially younger men. In fact, men in general, younger or older. And the saying is this, the beauty on the inside. As in, as a man, you love the woman for the beauty on the inside. So in other words, it does not matter too much as to her outer appearance. No, no, no. <laughs> no, so long as on the inside, she's a good person. That's what matters. Now, I understand. In the terms of reality and the world, it sounds nice. It, it sounds real, doesn't it? But how real is it? You know, as men, we are visual creatures. So to some degree, especially when it comes to the bedroom, how a woman looks is important. And just because she's good looking on the outside does not mean her insides are good, no. But the point is to be honest with your damn self. And with this article, I will be very mature in explaining my point. From chicagoreader.com, my naked wife gives me anxiety attacks. <laughs> What's on the inside does count. Okay, now, this is a man who gets anxiety attacks every time his wife takes her clothes off, basically. <laughs> now, being very mature, this is his wife. So obviously one has to reassure his wife that she is thus appealing to him, indeed. But no more waffling, let's begin. By Dan Savage. Well, I doubt Dan is as savage as this man is about to be to his wife. Let's begin. I was raised in a religious home and didn't lose my virginity until the embarrassing age of 26. Men shouldn't be embarrassed about those things. The world, other people, and women actually make you feel embarrassed about it. Don't be. I was told by the church to save it for marriage, and I was a virgin until I met a woman who would become my wife at a party. I said to hell with it. We had a one night stand and we've been together now for eight years. Okay. I'm tall and slim and my wife is short and heavy. <laughs> like an idiot, I believed it's what's on the inside that matters. My wife is the sweetest, most thoughtful person I have ever met. I love spending time with her, but I have absolutely no sexual attraction to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. Apologies, apologies for being mature. As a result, I've all but stopped initiating sex. And on the rare occasion when we do make love, I make her come twice while I'm struggling just to get off. <laughs> oh God. No, no, no. No, I can't do this. No, no. Okay, let's be mature. Come on. So basically, as this man has the ability to, let's say, plow and plow away and work his wife, obviously, to a level of satisfaction twice, <laughs> twice, <laughs> he is struggling just to get there once. So this is him giving an example of how he's struggling just to do it. Some time ago, I made a video about Henry VIII and Anne of Cleves and how Henry VIII could not, basically, he could not consummate the marriage. He couldn't get it up for Anne of Cleves because apparently she looked wrong. She just, she looked wrong, apparently, you know? Even the paintings are a lie because she looked that bad. <laughs> My God, come on, come on, fish, come on. So when Henry VIII left his room after not being able to do Anne of Cleves, he said to his ministers, I like her not. I like her not. How dare you? Remove that beast from my chambers at once. <laughs> no, he did not say that. That's me. He did not say that. But as an example, an example from another time. Yes, a king, obviously, but an example as to how some men would see certain things. Yes, on the inside, she may be nice, but still, one has to be able to get to full mast, if you will, you know, to be able to at least feel those good insides. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking. Let's carry on. Swiftly move on. <laughs> I know it's shallow. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, I don't think so. And I know beauty is only skin deep. Well, it depends how much skin she's got. Yeah, come on, come on, fish, come on. But what am I supposed to do when seeing my wife naked sends me into an anxiety attack? <laughs> run, run for your damn life. <laughs> Flee, my God. Run like Forrest Gump. You know what? You know, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being wrong. I'm being wrong. Obviously, this man is looking for help. 
you know, if I were to help this man and advise him on what to do in this situation, I would honestly say, run. No, 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 no. I would say good luck. And, and I think you already know what your answer is. But let's carry on. When I'm helping out with laundry, I get bummed because there's nothing in her wardrobe I find attractive on her. Damn my god. It's like I said the other day, the dress doesn't make her look fat. No, no, she makes the dress look bad. Even when I look at old pictures of us together, I get extremely depressed. My god, because I know this is the best she's ever going to look. <laughs> my god. It doesn't help that she finds me handsome and regularly tells me so. Well, it's a shame you can't tell her back. You know, you can't say she looks good back because that's a lie. And as a husband, you're not supposed to lie to your wife. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All you husbands listening, you're not supposed to lie to your wife. No, seriously, no, no, no. You're not supposed to <laughs> lie to your wife. And that's why I'm not married. I'd lie to her every damn day. No, no, let's carry on. Let's carry on. It's gotten to the point where I find any woman who isn't my wife desirable. That's bad. Every other woman isn't desirable. My God, your wife must be... Oh, damn. I'm, I feel sorry for you, bro. I, I, well, I'm sorry. I can't even make a joke. I just feel sad for this guy. Including, but not limited to, her family and friends. I should also mention that she has no interest in having an open relationship or threesome because she prefers having me all to herself. Well, of course, if you prefer any other woman other than her, any other woman may look better than her anyway, so of course she would be jealous. She wouldn't want that. Come on. <laughs> Compete? Nah, come on. I don't want to ask her to change because she's perfectly happy with herself, but I'm becoming increasingly resentful. What do I do? How do I tell her? And is there any way I can come out of this a good husband? In the shallows. Shallow depths and sleepy hollows. A wife so unattractive, she fills you with sorrow. My God, that's really depressing. Really. Now, first of all, his need and want to lose his virginity made him simp for the first woman who probably gave him enough attention. Now, what some men should understand is your desire to get off would make you throw yourself at a woman who you assume more appealing than she actually is. Because there is so much backed up within the nut fog, that's the fog men have before they release and then they can then see the woman or see that they shouldn't have probably banged this woman. You see, many men under the nut fog would simp for a woman who is actually far below their level simply because of their desire to get off. Now, this guy, he, he went too far. He went too far. He married a one-night stand. He married a, as some say in the UK, a quick ting. You know, she was just a quick thing, you know? She was not supposed to be a main thing in your life. It was just a quick thing, as in a bust and move. Bust and move. Now, him being from a religious background, he may have felt guilty that he wanted to just smash this woman because he had done her. He felt he had to marry her. No, bro. No, bro. No, any man listening. No, no, no. First of all, if he had not married her, leaving her would be far easier. He could just say, you know what? Look, love. I can't do it anymore. I have to think about other women or your sister or even your mom to get going. So no, it's pointless. I might as well be with your sister or even your mom because they're better looking than you. I know it sounds harsh and shallow, like the husband or Dan Savage, but seriously. But the truth is the truth. As a man, you can't lie to yourself and pretend. Pretend you really want something you know is just something quick rather than something to commit to. If she's a nice woman, hey, she's nice, hey. But do not fool yourself and trap yourself with a woman you have to think twice about sleeping with. It's actually pointless. You know, he could have stayed single and just occasioned this woman. Bust and move, indeed. No commitment, no strings. Still enjoy her company if he wanted to, but not waste his life committing to a woman he would then have to divorce because he doesn't even want to sleep with the woman. The overall point is, men, don't think with your penis, because what was good then in the future does not always turn out to be good. Even if the woman was in shape, does not mean she would have stayed so. She may have eventually become that anyway. You never know. Now that sounds shallow, yes, I know, but oh, I'm replicant fish, what do you expect? Just don't think with your knob. Think beyond your knob. You're supposed to anyway. In other words, focus, observe, Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.